Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, find the values uh, given this triangle. Now, the special thing about this triangle is we have parallel lines. And we're going to use those parallel lines to our advantage, all right? Um, because when we have parallel lines in a transversal, we can um, use certain definitions of angles to help us find our degrees. And one of those is corresponding angles. So what I notice is since these are parallel lines and I have a transversal line right here, I'm, uh, these two angles are corresponding, meaning they're both in the exact same angle. If you kind of look at these intersections here, all right, they're both in the upper left-hand corner. All right? So therefore, they're corresponding angles, meaning that they're going to be exactly the same value. So I can write an equation, say 3x equals 48. And when I solve by, th by 3, okay, what I get is x is equal to 16. Now, that's going, to be, that's, going to give me, that's going to be very, very helpful for me um, because what I can do now is plug that into my other equation. So therefore, I can now say 4x minus 8 is the, oh, I'm sorry. Now I can say 4 not times x, but by 16 minus 8. And what is going to be that is going to equal the value of that angle. Well, so 4 times 16 is going to be 64 minus 8. 64 minus 8 is going to give me 56. So therefore, this whole angle right here is 56. This angle is 3 times x, which again is going to be, actually we already figured that out, which is 48. All right. Well, here's the other important part. I see here's a straight angle. If one side's 56, what is going to be this other angle? Well, you should remember that straight angles, um, this is a straight line, I add up to 180. So I could say 56 plus this angle, let's call it Z, equals 180. So when I solve for Z, I subtract 56, and I get Z equals 24. All right, so now what I have is I have a triangle. And we should know that a triangle, all the degrees in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So the last equation I'm going to write is y squared plus 24 plus 48. All the angles of my triangle add up to 180 degrees. Well, I can combine these to give me 72. So y squared equals 72. So y squared plus... 72 equals 180. So now I'll subtract 72, and you get y squared equals 108. Then I take the square root, and what I get is y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 108. Now obviously you can't have a negative uh, degree, right? Because degree is a measure, measures are gonna be positive. So if therefore it's just gonna be the positive square root of 108 will be the value of y. All right, and that's it.